It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Mattis writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1,899, recorded Thursday, August 25th, 2022. Photo finish. On this episode of the Gizwiz, the Giddy has some new Soundcore earbuds, another back to school gadget. I have a brand new crappy corner theme and your videos all next on The Giz Wiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Wiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, Dick D. Bartolo, a Greek god of gadgets. <laughs> How you doing, Diggy D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very good. Excellent, excellent. <sighs> um, uh, with, you ahead. had a busy week. You, you know what? It was it was interesting. Last time when we recorded, I said I have nothing Feels like for host just chat. Yesterday. <laughs> yes, yes, two days ago. Yeah. And then I was down in the park, and and this this guy David. Uh, who's a volunteer for the park said, so you're coming to my b birthday party? I, I said, no, what, what? He said, oh, I'm going to be 90 on Wednesday. And I wow. said, oh, can I bring my spouse? He said, bring your spouse. You got a dog? Bring your dog. Uh, and I said, where's the party? He said, it's going to be right here in the park. Um, so that was uh, last night, right? Yeah, uh, when, yeah, last night. And I said to Dennis, let's go down. I, I, maybe there'll be a couple of people, and I don't know what it's going to be. So we we walked on down, and when we got there, there was a gigantic tent. I guess you can just I can talk over those photos. <laughs> yeah, we got down. A couple there people. A couple of people. There must have been like a hundred and fifty people, <laughs> uh, and I thought, oh, you know, maybe there'd be chips and dip. Well, it turned out that they had sushi. They had two sous chefs, sushi what? Uh, chefs. I know. And then they had a table with salads. And then I don't think no I have... paid no Dixie cups, no <laughs> Dixie cups, silverware, oh my glassware. Uh, they were walking around with stuffed mushrooms, fried chicken, um, and all kinds of desserts. And I don't think I have it, it, ever been to a birthday party that's this fancy. Oh, uh, no, it was amazing. And, and also uh, he, he emailed an invitation that said absolutely no gifts. And that's Dave in the picture. And that that's not the good picture. The only reason I used it is uh, everybody was commenting. They loved the anxiety state Dean's list T-shirt <laughs> that I wore. So, uh, so it was great fun. And then I shot. Uh, today, when I was went down with Charlie, I thought, well, you know, I'll just do 45 seconds of what the park looks like uh, looking out from where the tent would have been. Okay. And this is it. All right. So this is where the tent was for the party. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of the park. And it's kind of hard to see, but with the different areas being given to volunteers to take care of, the park really looks spectacular. I mean, this is just a half a block from my house. So, and you know, for New York City, I think this is pretty great. Sorry about the and sun. And that is the Hudson River right through those trees. Wow. Yeah, so he, it, so as a volunteer, is that like his area? So he, no, he, he by? is, I guess he's like, a, I think the parks department must love him for, for the party that they gave. He's sort Either of that in charge or of, he's a hidden millionaire that we, th that could be too. That could be too. Because one day, uh, he had brought his car in full of plants and stuff. And I said, do you, who pays for this? And he goes, I, I pay for it out of my own pocket. He said, I just spent a hundred bucks. And I said, well, I'll share it with you. So I gave him 50 bucks. Um, may, maybe he's rich. I have no, I have no right. idea, but people, I mean, even uh, just 
the amount of people that showed up. That's just so impressive. This guy. Yes. So you see him, you walk through the park and you see him all the time. And you just chat with him. All and, the time. I see him so, all the time. So cool. He is, he is there every single day. And, uh, yes, he has tons of friends and, and I probably told the story before, but the parks department with money shortages kept cutting the number of people cutting to take care of the gardens. And someone came up, I don't know if it's only Riverside Park, with the idea, why don't we assign sections of the park to people to take care of and plant? And there's like a list of what you can plant. I, I guess they don't want <laughs> you growing vegetables or whatever. Um, but people love it. And you walk down there and you'll see ladies coming in with their little stool and they spend hours in there grooming portions of the park. And the overall thing is, I mean, all the flowers have died now. But in the spring, it's just amazing. That's so cool. uh, I consider it very lucky. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's great. Really great. Yeah. It's such a cool, uh, it's almost like a uh, shared garden or you yes, know, space. Yes. You know, it's like. That's so neat that everyone will take pride in their little area. That's really cool. Yeah, that's, that's cool. exactly right. But yeah. now you're going somewhere. I am. I'm super excited about this trip. So I've been planning it for a while. Some friends are coming down uh, from the UK, and I'm going to Disney World with them. But that's not the exciting part that I wanted to like share and tell you about. Um, do you know anything about the SLS rocket? No. No. Okay, so the SLS rocket, the Space Launch System, is the is NASA's biggest rocket uh, currently. Okay. So, uh, you know, way back in the, you know, 50 years ago, Saturn V, that was the rocket that got us to the moon. Um, the SLS is supposed to be the rocket that gets us back to the moon. And they're launching it off while I'm there. And I've got tickets to tickets? go. You, yes, yes, yes. So you can normally just go and just watch it launch. Wow. Like you can go anywhere and see the thing go off. But NASA does offer uh, a closer viewing. So you get actually on the island that there, or there's like a peninsula type thing. So you can be closer. Um, so I'm going to be able to get really, really close to the launch of the SLS. This thing is massive uh the it's it's not quite as tall as the saturn V, but it's pretty close and it will be launching a uh the orion spacecraft to orbit the moon so wow. it's the first time we've had a human capable spacecraft orbit the moon in 50 years so it's the next step to actually landing on the moon and getting back to the moon. Wow. Um, yeah. So, so you're going to take some video for us? Yeah, we can take video. Uh, it's it's going to be... Well, when you tell exciting. them you're shooting video for the Giz Whiz, uh, they're going <laughs> to... It opens gonna doors. Your, yeah, really. They're going to be right next... Yeah, don't get burned. That's all exactly. I can say. Is don't let your camera melt when that right. thing goes up. Right. Um, it's saying, Scooter X is saying 70% chance of good conditions during the launch window. I really hope so, because the <laughs> tickets weren't cheap. Um, and so I'll be driving over there uh, to, to see it. It'll be pretty cool, because I, I believe that this is the largest space-capable rocket at the moment. Wow. Um, I believe that the star uh, uh, Starship that SpaceX is ma making will be larger, but st that's still not made yet. So... This is currently the largest space-capable rocket that exists. Um, wow. I'm very, very, very excited Oh, no, it. I think that's great. Yeah. That's yeah. great. So, no humans on board. Uh, this is a test mission. Um, the next launch will have humans on board, and they're going to orbit the... They'll do a loop around the... Uh, moon and then come back and then i think the third mission may i don't know what's happening on the third <laughs> i hope they oh. land soon you know anyway um so anyway that's that's 
the oh, big that's thing. Great. That's great. Yeah, happening. get some video. That'll be super. On my trip. Um, that would be super. <clears throat> Okay, that's uh, that's a pretty good uh, pre-show for recording oh two my, days ago. I feel wow, like. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay, so Anchor last week, Anchor had a uh, preview of some new products. Actually, they were showing a lot of products because they were making like a intro to gifts for the holidays, but they introduced earbuds that were released today, and it was under embargo, and Ooh. it was interesting. I, I searched it every single day and no one posted anything uh, until today. Unfortunately, my test pair is now coming tomorrow. <laughs> and there's something very interesting about the video here. And I learned a lot. So I go in, I'm by myself. So I shoot a little introduction standing in the middle of, they had like five tables of products. And I sound okay. I go over to Adam, who's doing the demo, and there is such noise on the mics that it was unusable. And also, they, they, one of the things they had on the table that we were at was a new boom box that when, if you have two of them, when one goes on, it turns on the other one, and I believe... One becomes the right speaker and one becomes the left speaker. So even though Oz was muted, every time someone at the other end of the room turned on that one, it turned on the one on our table. <laughs> so <laughs> what I did is I left my intro in so you can hear that the mic works. And then I just muted uh, Adam's video and copied down his dialogue as best I could and then things other things we had learned at this thing so let's take a look at the video okie dokie the anchor happy holidays event and what you do is you come in and they hand you a shopping bag <laughs> and then you walk around and you just pick up things that you would like for your happy holiday okay <clears throat> i get so emotional at these events <laughs> so it's nothing like that okay but we are here to see new gadgets and actually gadgets that make good gifts for the holidays from Anchor. It is the A40 earbuds, smallest earbuds Soundcore has ever made. They're called the 50-hour earbuds. There's 10 hours in the A40. And in 40 hours from the case, you can recharge them four full times. Adam said a 10-minute fast charge is enough for the earbuds to last for up to four hours. The case itself can be wirelessly charged or USB-C. There's upgraded noise cancellation and noise blocking. And the fit can reduce outside noise up to 98%. Or you can switch to transparency mode. Use the Hear ID Sound app to create your own personalized sound profile. It creates an in-ear seal without the need for ear fins. I never like those. It's packaged with five pairs of silicone ear tips. Uh, 10 millimeter dynamic drivers. Bluetooth 5.2. Six mics and AI for phone calls. Supports AAC, LDAC, and SBC codecs. And LDAC codec is only available on Android. And with that, this pair, uh, this, these earbuds join high-end products from Sony and Techniques that retail for over $225. But these earbuds went on sale August 25th. Today, as we're recording this, for $99.99, and they're available in black, in navy blue, and a silver white combo. And then I, I let the video run for another minute because while Adam he's running over and he's shutting off the boombox again because <laughs> it just keeps going on. Um, so anyway... They they went on sale about 4 a.m. I kept checking to see when when uh, uh, Soundcore or Anchor was going to release them. Uh, so there's obviously no reviews because the earliest anybody can get them, I guess, is. Um, oh, OK. So they shipping. They, you can get them in three days. OK. Yeah. Um, so I haven't heard them yet. 
And also, I know the event looked like not a lot of people. So there were two choices. You could go during the day and get uh, a, a run through of what things looked like. Or you could come back at five o'clock and then there was going to be a big party with food and a bar. Um, but I had another appointment that day four blocks away. So I called up and said, you know, can I just make a 2.30 appointment and come over? Uh, so I saw it first. So there is 50-hour total play time. Ten minutes equals four hours. I think that's, that's uh, awesome. pretty neat. The whole package, the, the uh, case and the earbuds, is a touch more than two ounces. Wow. Yeah. So... And I, I like I like the fact that they're so small. And I, I didn't like the ear fins that a, one set of uh, anchor earbuds I had came with ear fins. Yeah, I've seen those before, like here, the, the similar type of design. Yeah, exactly, the... e exactly. Um, I like it. It's so, wireless charging case, too. That's kind of nice. Yes, 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 exactly. I like this a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I think they're going to do really well with them. And to, to break the $100 mark, even though it's by a penny, under $199.99, uh, it sounds better. And I am not even sure what LDAC is, but <laughs> the only other earphones that I know of now is the Sony at, I think, 279 and the Technics, uh, Techniques at 229 So evidently it's a big thing. And probably one of the only times that People with Android phones are getting something iPhones don't have. Right, right. This is this seems really nice because uh, uh, one, I've used other Soundcore products, and and there's a companion app so you can set settings. And a new, on. yes, that's another new app. They said right. with it's way more. I think there's like fifty adjustments and right. Yeah. And as an Apple user, what I would compare this to is the AirPods Pro, and those are. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. So this is a hundred and fifty bucks less expensive, with the noise canceling, uh, a charging case. Uh, I mean that is a six mics. Yeah, six. Yeah, I mean it's mostly the noise canceling because once you add noise canceling, even if it's crummy noise canceling, even if it's not six mic AI enhanced noise canceling. If it's just noise canceling, it adds like a hundred bucks to the price of almost anything. So this having all of that, a fast charger, you know, 10 hours of listening. There's, if you're, <laughs> it's like I'm not even awake for 10 hours. Um, <laughs> so that's, it's really impressive at a hundred bucks. It is a hundred bucks, but that is a really impressive amount of things going on for a hundred bucks. Um, so I think this is going to be pretty popular. A big, if, yeah, uh, I, I do too. So it's yeah. called Space A40, and uh, it's from Soundcore, and Perfect. available now. Awesome. And now we have, ladies and gentlemen, we don't even have a theme for it. <laughs> we don't. We should. Where are our theme writers? <laughs> it's a Chad Crappy Chad's, Extra. Chad's <laughs> Crappy Extra. That's it. Um, and I recorded a video, so let's oh, good, jump great. In. Great. Time for a Chad Extra. Today we are taking a look at the Good Grips button hook. Uh, and so this is a gadget that should make getting buttons to go through buttonholes on shirts and stuff a lot easier. Let's see if we can pull this out of the packaging. Here it is. And so I have on a button up shirt. And from what I gather by the instructions over here, I start with the place that I want the button to go. Oh, I put that oh, through. Okay. Then I grab the button from that side, and then I can sneak the button through. Now I release, <laughs> and there you go. Oh, actually, uh, that's Now, one of the reasons I got this was a long, long time ago, I started putting on uh, the patron pole one-handed gadgets. And so my hope was that I could put on a button one-handed. So let's try this. I got it through the buttonhole just fine. Grab the button. <laughs> Pull. Oh, it's kind of working. Pull that through. Oh, I worked. 
There we go, okay. Uh, the other thing is that a lot of times doing your cuff buttons, very, very difficult to do. So I wanted to see if this would help with that process, especially these uh, little ones right here. So let's try to see if this will help the process. It looks like the button uh, section of this wire is wider than the button hole. So I'll have to really press. There we go, got that through. Now let me see if I can snag the button. Got it. It looks like, eh. now that I have it, I can help it along that way. There we go, got that through, and then let it off the hook. There we go. Uh, it was a little bit of fina finagling, but these buttons are always pretty difficult to snag with your fingers if you're just trying to hold the button, use a non-dominant hand to fit it through. That can always be very, very difficult. So my hope was that with this, it would be a lot easier to uh, snag a button, pull it through. <laughs> I don't know if this is any faster than the other one I just did. <laughs> and this is with my right hand also. Uh, uh, at least I have more to make sure that the uh, button doesn't accidentally get lost. So I think it helps but uh, it's still a little bit of a process. So that is the Good Grips button hook. Back to you guys. Okie dokie, it is $9 and 95 cents. That's the, the cost Oh, here. you know, if you have limited ability yeah. or arthritis or something, this, is, this will be great, I think. Yeah, yeah. In fact, it's sold by the North Coast Medical Store. Oh, okay. So okay. it's definitely a... Uh, something to help mm. folks who, you know, buttons are difficult with. Yeah. Um, yeah, it worked It worked great. Um, I didn't even think that I guess I could have tried to turn the button on its side and fit it through. Um, and what I was trying to say was, even if it's not, like, the most perfect, you know, get it to work yeah, type yeah, of thing, right. if, with this attached to the button, it makes at least, you know, not losing the button... So, so many times with cuffs, I'm, I, you know, I almost, I it, just almost have it. And then the yes, button slides it, away. Yes, exactly. And so it exactly. kind of stops that from, from happening. Mm -hmm. um, there you go. The Good Grips button hook for 10 bucks. From like? OXO. O -X -O. OXO, yes. Yeah. No, that's great. Tomorrow. That's great. Um, back to okay, you. Okay. Uh, yeah, back to me. Okay, another back to school gadget, but also for anybody who has trouble with combination locks, something new. Ooh. The combination lock has not changed a bit since I was a kid, so that's roughly 130 years ago. But now <laughs> it has, okay? It's new from Master Lock, or new for me anyway, it's the first time I saw it. It is the uh, combination lock with magnification lens, and notice the numbers, black on white, and that lens helps a lot. Uh, there's a slight downside to this, and that is you can set your own combination, all right? The combination is printed on the back of the lock, and it's a little peel-off sticker that you put somewhere. <laughs> Don't put it on the locker because... Uh, It'll be easy for you to remember it and anybody passing by to open it. Um, I actually emailed Master Lock, and I think the guy said there are 30, uh, there are, I, I think, 5,500 different I don't know why that camera didn't focus better. So not every Master Lock has the same combination. Uh, so let's look at our lock. It is 1906.13. So 19, I'm sure they're... Probably these are the instructions, but we're going to assume that every lock uh, has the same. All right, so 19, so you turn it, and let's see. Oh, I like the clicking. We're going to go past Every it. number, yeah. Okay, so we're at 19. Every number is a click, by the way, so that's easy. And then 06, and as I recall, you pass the number the first time. So we're looking for 06. And then we're going to 13. All right. 
so now everyone will know you're doing it this way. I'm only doing it in the right direction. I and bought two of them. 13, <laughs> 14, 13, and... Uh, Woo! All right. That is the way. So it works the way all combination locks work. It's kind of good looking. Seems pretty sturdy to me. I'm not quite sure why I have two screws in the back here. Um, all right, it was, wow, I paid, I bought it in July, and I paid 12 bucks. It's eight eighteen now. I already looked a little more than 300 ratings, got four and a half stars. Uh, beware that if you want two of them, don't buy the two-pack. One is $18.18. .18. The two pack is almost thirty-five dollars. <laughs> so if you want two of them, like I did, hit the one pack, and then on the quantity, hit two. It comes in blue, silver, and I believe red, and you have no choice of color. Okay, I was hoping for a red lock, but with the two I bought, I didn't get it. That's it. The master lock with magnification lens. Be safe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> yeah, it's so funny. It is, it's $8 right now. Oh, it's, on it's Amazon. gone down a little more. Yeah, wow. 13 Eight, Yeah. That's great. This, if you want, oh, no, that's just a normal. Oh, you know what? <laughs> that, that, you know what? I, I saw that earlier. It's stupid. It looks like you can order it in a color. Yeah. And when you click the color, <laughs> it's a different lock. Yes, exactly. It's the old school lock. Yeah, that's weird. Um, yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. There's a yeah, whole bunch of different lock designs, like um, uh, that uh, to help. I think with you know most people kind of forget the numbers. Have you right. ever seen a lock like this? No. So this is a directional lock. So how do you open it? Is you know your code would be down, down, left, up, or whatever. Um, and that middle piece slides. Uh, let's see if there's maybe a, a video about it. Um, the mask. I don't want to listen to it. I just want to see if they show it. Um, so there you go. You go up, down, right, left. Oh, I see the whole. Oh, oh I yeah. see what you're saying. Yeah, isn't that saying. interesting? And that's so it's how not it opens. A, it's not a, a rotating dial. No. You no. you push it in a direction. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of neat. Yeah. The only downside is is they look expensive. <laughs> Fifty six bucks. This one is twenty one. Yeah, it's not it's not quite comparable to your eight dollar <laughs> lock no. you just showed off. One hundred twenty nine dollars for two? You're kidding me. Oh, that that two thing. Uh, that makes no sense. Who is doing that? I don't know. You think people would recognize yeah. it? They get no sales. No, that's interesting. No, yeah. I didn't know about that. Yeah. The reason I know about this is because I was in a escape room that used one, and uh, it was it was like up oh, down. Oh, you had what? a you had to guess the combination. <laughs> well, you found the you found the code, but you inputted it into that lock with up left left. You know, yes, you yes, did right. the code. Um, and so it's it very like they had to explain it to us before we went in. They said, "If you see this lock, <laughs> here's how it works." Um, and then you can reset it if if uh, you need to if you accidentally hit left or right or whatever. If you push in the pa the lock the linkage. Um, oh yeah, right. Part then it'll reset it. Um, yours is a lot less expensive though, <laughs> eight bucks. Yeah, I, I mean, I certainly wouldn't use it on a safe deposit box. Right. But if you need, you know, probably at the gym. Right. It, it, when you just clicking. want to make sure a casual person doesn't open the door and take your stuff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. Um, and uh, that clicking thing is great. Yeah. And and the knob that you turn is, is uh, knurled, so it's very easy. Um, it's yeah. it's a inexpensive deterrent. It's it's not right, right. It's it's any anyone who goes to Home Depot and buys a yeah, good pair of shears can exactly. just cut that thing off. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and for that, 
eight dollars, perfect price. I, I like, eight. I really like the clicking because there's just too many times you try to hit that number. Oh, and I yeah. went too far. You know, that's yeah, just exactly. annoying. And the and the the magnification thing is great, and yeah. also black on it has a lot going for it. It does, to it my does. mind. Um, all right, well that brings us to. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. Uh, with new month, new theme. Yes, yes. So I asked the patrons uh, between to choose, and okay. I gave them four options. Four. Because I felt like it was a little cheaty for me to add Alibaba gadgets on there. Oh, Another okay. month. I think they've. Okay. I think they've said they don't want Alibaba. <laughs> anyway, but I thought of it and so I added it on there. Okay. So uh, the th the options were leftover gadgets. So gadgets leftover from past gadgets? themes. Yes. So past okay. themes. If I ordered an extra gadget or oh, two. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. If I still have them laying around. Okay. Travel gadgets, Alibaba gadgets, and kitchen gadgets. I gave them some classics on there too. Uh, so out of those th options, what do you think they... Boy, I'm not sure that they're gonna understand what leftover gadgets was. They might think it's aluminum pans <laughs> to put, and, and, and saran wrap. Microwaves and yeah, some Tupperware. You, things that, yeah, <laughs> things that you have when you have leftover food. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that didn't win. Okay. Alibaba, I think you're right, that didn't win. Well, so that leaves kitchen. Travel and kitchen. Travel. I'm going to go with kitchen this time because okay. I think travel was, didn't we do some travel gadgets? Yeah, I, don't know. That was, I'm, I'm I did trying. some a few months back. Yeah. Okay. Um, on that basis, I'm going to say kitchen. Okay. So uh, Alibaba gadgets, they only got 9% of the vote. So yeah, no, <laughs> okay. didn't, that was the worst. But kitchen okay. gadgets got 33% of the vote. But leftover oh, no. gadgets got forty three percent of the vote. Oh, and well, oh, you explained it. Okay. okay. Yes. Gadgets and past themes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And okay. I accidentally right. clicked to vote on one of these, and I can't unvote. You can't. <laughs> so I just put it on the worst one, which happened to be Alibaba. I did, normally okay. I try not to vote in these. Uh, but okay. I accidentally clicked it. So I and, I, and I don't vote in these either. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, 77 votes. A le leftover gadgets um, was well, the winner. Well, that be good. You don't have to send away for anything, right? <laughs> They're all here. I got so many extra gadgets. I've bought perfect. a this lot of extra perfect. gadgets. Even from just last month, the as seen on TV gadgets, one of the gadgets required a really hot day, and I waited too long. I never got it, to it, so... I went out and got a different gadget because I couldn't really show it at all. So, uh, so this will be a great theme, and I'll try to remember the theme um, that I bought the gadget for originally, so I can oh, okay. I can say ah, I bought this for this theme way back in the day. Uh, so, without further ado, let's jump into our first leftover gadget. Hey, diggy -dee. So we are here with our first crappy corner, and as we've learned, the theme is leftover gadgets. And this gadget was left over from an Alibaba uh, gadget theme. And so this came from China, took about a month to arrive. I have taken it out of the box already to make sure that it is charged but it's basically a look-alike Game Boy system. Oh. And it comes with a controller that plugs in via US, uh, micro USB. And it also comes, funny enough, with like an RCA video and audio uh, cable. I don't even think most TVs have this cable of this <laughs> anymore. anymore. Uh, this is kind of for like standard definition video and most TVs don't have that. Uh, it also comes with a really itty bitty uh, way to charge it with just a, a normal U micro USB cable. On the back, there is a place for a user replaceable battery. And one thing that I did find a little bit concerning is when I plugged this in, I had no indication that it was actually charging, that the battery was fully charged or anything. Now I have not turned it on yet, so hopefully it did charge. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I can hear it. So I have a volume knob down here. 
which I'll turn down. Uh, at the top, by the way, there is the power, a micro SD or micro uh, USB. And then this looks like a headphone jack, but this is actually that video out jack. There is no headphone jack on the entire thing. So we have to choose oh, okay. between Chinese and English. I would like to choose English. Uh, maybe I hit start. There we go, start. Okay, it looks like here oh, are the wow. games. It says 401. Oh my gosh. We have Super Mario. Oh, I went to 400. Pinball. Oh my gosh. Pac-Man. Wow, this Whoa. is going to have a lot of games in it. Uh, let's start with Super Mario. Why not? I mean, that that's exciting. Oh, I went to another page. Uh, okay, I'm going to hit start again. There we go. <laughs> this seems uh, uh, like this should not be a thing. This seems like there's definitely some copyright infringement happening yeah. right now. Well, let's test out the, um, oh, I'm going to die here. There we go. Let's pause the game. I'll also turn it up just a bit. I'm going to leave the game here. Oh my gosh. Like that. And then I will use the controller that it came with to actually play this game. Now this controller looks very, very similar to the Japanese Nintendo system uh, that came out, or I'm, I'm not exactly up on my uh, video game console lore, but it does look like something I, I, I feel like I have seen before. So let's plug this into the top right here. There we go. And then let me see. I can wedge that there and then use this to unpause the game. Oh, <laughs> it's not working. Oh, oh no. no, maybe I had to have it plugged in when I turn on and off. Oh, I have to choose English again. I thought that was like a one time. Well, that's not working. Oh, oh, I may have pushed it in too hard. What was that? Okay, it still seems like it's working. Poor little. Fake Game Boy. Okay, La, I guess that's really it. Let's see Turtles, uh, it has Turtles 1 and Turtles 4. Uh, 2 and 3, they didn't get an option. Wait, did I choose the wrong language? Okay, here we go. This looks like a weird emulation error because I'm getting some stuff down there. <laughs> this is not oh the right language. Oh my gosh. Did I choose the wrong one? English. Anyway, uh, it looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that would be really, really fun. Um, and uh, I forget the price, so I'll have to tell you after. Uh, but there we go. That is this kind of knockoff Game Boy um, that has preloaded games. I'm not even sure how you would get back to the main menu other than uh, turning it off and on again. So uh, back to you guys in the studio. Okay, I did figure out how to get back to that main menu. There is a button in the middle. So this button right here. So oh, I turn okay. it back on, choose, oh, well, I choose Japanese, but if you choose a game, jump into it. If you hit this button, it, it's basically just an on off button. If I click and hold, it just stays off. It's just an interrupt basically. So it'll just oh, restart okay. the whole system and you'll get back to either Chinese or, or English. Um, but like I said, there yeah, are- th Does the remote need power? Is that, could that have oh, been a problem? No. No, no. okay. Look like it. And it I never also, worked, right? It never worked, it never worked. Um, and also, uh, when recording, you know, I was so off, uh, I was trying to point it towards the camera, I didn't realize, the, Angles on the screen are <laughs> not good. Like the, uh, you know, whenever you, if you view this screen off angle, not that great. Yeah, this still isn't working. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Oh, no. I thought the start button worked for a half okay. second. Um, but no, that didn't work. Uh, let me see if I can get the, just how bad the off axis 
is. It just isn't, you gotta see this thing like dead on. Oh, I see, yes, I, yeah. Otherwise it's, uh, it gets, uh, the colors get a little weird. Um, so how much did I pay for it? Uh, it looks like I paid around $13 US for it. So here it is on AliExpress. This is the one that I ordered, 401 portable game console. Uh, it also, you, it sells it without the uh, controller for like a dollar less. So if you don't want to risk it, and it comes in four, four different colors. So you can get whatever you want. Um, also, this controller, I was trying to figure out what it looked like, and this was the Japanese version of oh. the Nintendo. And so I, I think that it, had, it takes some cues from that one. Um, so anyway, that's what I was trying to say. Anyway, there it is, uh, 12 bucks. It does have many, many games. I can kind of uh, go through the game list here. I see Super Mario, um, Contra, um, Chip and Dale, one and three, uh, Ninja Gaiden, Robocop, Mortal Kombat, Spider-Man, Aladdin, <laughs> and I'm only in the 40s here. Like, we got- Wow. S Dig Dug, Donkey Kong, um, uh, Galactica, Golf, Joust. I mean, just so, so. I mean, there was 400 games and they're not um, unheard of games. You know, I've, <laughs> I've heard of many, many, many of these games. Um, so, if uh, you want a very inexpensive uh, game companion, I really wish it had a headphone jack because I could see taking this yeah. on an airplane. Yes. Um, so yeah, and who knows how the emulation is? I did see some weird stuff with uh, the screen on one video game, so who knows? It's twelve bucks. <laughs> who knows what you're getting? <laughs> And there's, there was 1% off, so don't forget that. Ah, yes, yes. You may that's get an Alibaba like, coupon, so. Yeah, that's like that. 60 cents off. There's that. Um, okay, so uh, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy when gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse for Popcorn. Our email is from Lori Apthorpe, who writes, Hi, Dick and Chad. Love the show. Thanks for keeping those episodes coming. Uh, here's a video I made. I bought this after trying a more conventional foot bath with heat control, massage, vibration, bubbles. I returned it after finding it uncomfortable and not relaxing. <laughs> Bubbles and vibration were not helpful, just noisy. Uh, just was, wasn't helpful enough for all that fuss and expense. I looked for something simpler, and I found this, and it made me think of you guys, so I made a video. Ooh. I was shopping for a foot bath and found these, and I thought, wow, I got to try these. So I bought them and this is how they came with the full instructions in Chinese. And uh, <laughs> I, I like these because you can fill it in a uh, sink that's not very deep and uh, you don't have to use quite as much water. You have to be careful not to make it too full, otherwise it'll overflow when you put your foot in there. Um, but I think you are saving some water by not having to fill up a full foot bath. Uh, so you don't have to fill it up very much. There's a little textured bottom on the inside that are little hemispheres. And uh, then underneath there's a, a honeycomb pattern to lighten up the the weight of them. I don't think I would walk around in these. Uh, <laughs> that was a question that Just I big had enough, when it I seems saw like. them online. It kind of acted like you could walk around in them. But I don't think I would try to do that. I think... You might be able to master that, but uh, I think it depends on the size of your foot versus the size of the the booty. Easy to carry these when they're full of water and very easy to, to dump out the water when you're done and rinse them out. And uh, 
You can even um, put them together on a little hanger and hang them out to dry. Um, it's a little hard to snap it on with one hand, but they really are pretty easy to snap on. Um, it seems to be pretty well made, um, pretty good quality. Um, I like the color. Um, you can reach in there with a cloth. There's enough room to, to dry it out by hand, uh, at least with these this large size here. And uh, otherwise, you can stick them together for storage or, um, or for drying. Um, I tried out the little hook to see if it would fit over my shower controller, and it looks like it just barely does. Um, but I don't think I would leave them there. I think they might get a little moldy if you just left them there all the time. There's no heating, there's no bubbles, there's no vibrations, but it does does the job. It's basically two two foot baths for individual feet. It's pretty cool. You know, okay. the alternative is to load up a big old tub full of water. Um, yeah, or one of those big yeah, one of those big things that's like eighty dollars with the heat and the bubbles and yeah. she said she bought one and the vibration and bubbles yeah. returned it. Um, it's one of those things with, I, I think this is it because the company just uses initials. I, <laughs> uh, I think this is the one she bought the WMK. It's, it's all consonants. There's no vowels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That <laughs> is the one she bought because I wrote it down. She, she, oh yeah. The brand. Oh, it's the famous WMKJDS. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Um, and, yeah, that looks great. This is perfect. If uh, if all you need to do is soak your feet, and you don't want to use, wait, <laughs> is this milk? What is that? Pour milk. I guess. Yeah, milk bath. You know, take a milk bath. Not a dream. One box of easy milk. Such a large bucket. 30 boxes of milk oh, are oh, not I enough. Uh, they're saying, Truly cannot don't, afford don't use to sell. A, yeah. Don't use a bucket where you have to use <laughs> gallons of milk. <laughs> I just love how. Fill, just <laughs> fill these with milk. You got one gallon versus 30 <laughs> gallons. 30 boxes. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, my gosh. And the price goes up a lot depending on the size because I see $20 if you want small. 50 but, bucks. Uh, Wow, and I like that they call large Luga. Luga? Yeah. Luga, extra high. Extra high. Yeah, I they need some, want... uh, <laughs> what do they call that when you get the language to match uh, localization? They need a localization uh, expert yeah, here. Yeah, they need something. Uh, to fix this. But that's great. That's great that you found a solution, um, an inexpensive solution, looks like. Yeah. That's great. Thanks, Lori. Uh, Lori, thank you, Lori, in L.A. So, Laura, send you a new issue of MAD. Uh, we have another video from Jeff, so we'll be doing that soon. But we're always looking for more videos, anything to do with a gadget, okay? Like Lori is a gadget she bought and likes. Um, you can buy yeah, – what we also love is gadgets that you – can throw out because you spent too much money years ago. Uh, and it's laughable now, but that's what makes it so much fun is the $300 telephone that did pretty much nothing. Um, make a little video, horizontal format. Just make sure we can hear you. And you don't have to be in the video if you don't want to be. And put it up on YouTube. Uh, there's a drop-down menu. You click on listed. That way only people with the URL will be able to see it and that's what we need the url from youtube and email that to mail at gizwiz.tv mail at gizwiz.tv and we're using 99 percent of everything we get you'll get the current issue of mad magazine mail at gizwiz.tv do it now and also now. before we jump into the letter uh i forget who mentioned it in the chat room and they said that the controller has a two on it so I wonder if that is for uh, a two-player game. And I can confirm oh. that is what this is for. I loaded up Dr. Mario. This controller did one side. This it did the other. So this is oh. if you want to do a two-player game. That is what the extra 
um, controller is for. It's not so okay. you can just game far away from from the screen. So uh, the thank you for whoever have it. said that. Um, the controller doesn't have a headphone jack by any one. bizarre reason, oh, right? Oh, gosh. Uh, no. No. No, nothing. Okay. No. I also wonder, could you use the video cable, <laughs> go to the RCA to a headphone jack? That would be the crummiest thing. Oh. Um, but anyway, you Maybe. got it. At that point... <laughs> Yeah, I think the adapter would cost more than the twelve dollars. Yeah, I, I, I think so. I think so. Exactly. And when you get a chance, could you send me the link to that to this specific yes. one you bought? Yeah, okay. definitely, definitely. Okay. okay, with that, let's move on to the letter. Now, Jason Reghard, R E I G H A R D, writes Dick. <laughs> this is such a riot. Have you seen the Polaroid toilet paper holder? Wait, what? Jason, I haven't, but we will look at it now. <laughs> and I oh sent you the God. link to it. I'm uh, loading it up. That is okay. so. Here it is. What? Um, <laughs> what? So this must be large in order to hold the. TP. Oh yeah. Oh, you have to bolt it to the wall. Oh my gosh, that's a little much. And, bolt it, and then. Oh, I see. It takes a whole roll of toilet paper. Yeah, in see, there. I, see, uh, number four. Oh my. God. Here, let's see if any. Oh, there's only one rating. Well, I didn't do any photos. Oh, oh gosh, there's a whole bunch of them. Um. This one has the most ratings. Maybe it'll have like some images. I assume. See, like some, some of the toilet people pole... liked it. Yeah, they love it. Some of the toilet uh, paper rolls I have are huge. I'm worried yeah. that you'd have to put a half used roll in there. It's like not a ton of room. It seems like. Wow. Also, when when a stranger comes in, aren't they going to think it's a little strange? <laughs> <laughs> have a Polaroid right next to your toilet. I would definitely look at that. Uh, I, I would inspect it closely if I yes, went yes. into a bathroom that had that on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what was it, 20 bucks? Yeah, $20 was the latest one I looked at. Um, and then the one that was linked was 25 Oh, okay. Um, They're probably the same item, so if you must have it. Yeah. 25, 20, 20. Yeah, they're probably all exactly the same. Yeah. That is so funny. That is a riot. Yeah. People well, are for those, the Polaroid fan in your life, <laughs> you, we now we need to invent the one that takes the photo and prints it out on the toilet paper. Oh, there you and go. And then there you, go. you can destroy the evidence. Uh, oh, I, and, <laughs> and Jeff said we missed the title. Uh, Polaroid. Polaroid. Polaroid is Polaroid. That's very funny. Yeah. Polaroid. Wow. Um, yeah. There's a uh, gadget for everyone out there, you know? <laughs> it's just sitting out there. Thank you, Jason, for sending that over. That's very funny. Um, thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so much for your support of the show. Thanks for choosing the Crappy Corner theme this month. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like the show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. We really, really appreciate the support. If you want to give not via Patreon, but via PayPal, you can do so at our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab, and there's a link there so that you can donate via PayPal. You can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Uh, we have some schedule changes that'll be at the top of the website, uh, but we should be good. Uh, actually, I guess next week, the next recording will be on, on the a Tuesday, Tuesday, September 23rd. Uh, no, nope, wait, the no. September. Yeah, September 3rd, I think, right? Uh, let me right. Look, uh, uh, uh. Let me make sure. It's a different day as well. Uh, uh, uh. 
We're loading up the calendar. The 6th, September 6th. Our next recording will right. be... Day after Labor Day. Yes, the day after Labor Day, okay. Tuesday, Next September week, no 6th. show. And then the next show we record is September uh, 6th. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll put all that up at the top of the thing after this show today. After this show. Um, so head on over to gizwiz.tv to watch the show live. Join the chat room and chat around with all of the fantastic folks there. If uh, you want to see any of the other episodes, they're there on the website, gizwiz.tv. You can also listen to us on Apple Podcasts or watch us on YouTube. We got all sorts of options for you there. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website where he writes up articles about all the gadgets that we cover on the show. The search feature is fantastic for finding anything, any link or old gadget. Uh, also, while you're there, play What the Heck Is It? It'll be exciting and fun <laughs> when you head there and you'll be surprised by what you see. Because uh, that'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that, that about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.